and welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books i hope you're all doing very very well it's the first of june happy june happy pride and pred june dis to me i'm reading all books related to pride and prejudice this month so that's exciting um but today's video isn't about that at all my goodness me i've got such dry hands i need to put some hand cream on those guys um i am today going to be talking about my favorite things from the month of may um i've been enjoying one of my favorite things <laughs> has been um during this whole lockdown period has been filming um these favorite things videos because although it's been really tough um tougher for some than it has others um to be in lockdown i've been able to find um things that i've really loved and enjoyed during lockdown so i've very much enjoyed it i'll start with the things that i can actually show you and i'll start with the book because i always start with my favorite book of the month um and this was a reread for me and it was just lovely and it was matilda by Roald Dahl. um this was the only five star book um uh, that i read in may i read a lot of four star books read loads in may i will link my may wrap up down below i read 16 books in may um some of them very very good um and this was my favourite is uh, Matilda is um, one of the books that I remember reading so well from my childhood um, I remember sort of seeing myself in Matilda um, I could read before I went to school not like Matilda could but I could read before I went to school um, and I remember reading Matilda and being like all I want to do is read obviously I didn't have the home life that Matilda had um, but I, I just remember seeing myself in there um, and I really enjoyed the character of Trunchbull and uh, Miss Honey and sort of like the prevailing message of good will diminish evil um, and uh, I read this for a uh, book versus film so David and I did a little um, a little readathon type thing in um, in in May where five nights um, David uh, watched the film of a book adaptation whilst I read the book um, and uh, we, we saw who finished first whether it be David finishing the, the film first or me finishing the book first it wasn't really it wasn't so much of a competition but there was a competitive competitive air about it um, and we really enjoyed doing that with five books I will link my uh, TBR and David's uh, vlog from that um, down Below. and we are thinking of doing that again so that'll be fun but um yeah Matilda loved it I'll, I'll continue with the things I can actually show you because then we can move on to the to the less showy things um, one of them would be in this here t-shirt that I've got on now and um, this is a t-shirt from Joni uh, you will all know that Joni is one of my favourite places to buy clothes. Um, it's an independent clothes store or, um, based in the UK and uh, they sell t-shirts, slogan t-shirts, uh, lovely dresses, all no all number of lovely things. And their clothes, when I buy new clothes, I make sure I buy clothes that are going to last. And I've got a black t-shirt of theirs that I bought last year. I say black, it's sort of like this very dark grey, um, which says strange magic on it. And I love it and wear it all the time. It's one of my favourite t-shirts. When I saw that they had a, a, another t-shirt out in that similar colour, um, with the universe on it, and just like star constellations and things like that, I absolutely had to have it. Um, and it just... It just I just love wearing Jodie clothes and I just think they're so they're made so well they wash up really well that t-shirt I was talking about my strange magic t-shirt I wear it so much and I wash it so much and it still feels brand new it hasn't thinned or anything like that their dresses are gorgeous they fit me perfectly and um, so yeah I, uh, I bought myself this t-shirt and I love it so yeah that's another one and um, another thing Oh, I've just dropped something on the vlog, excuse me. Something else um, that has been my favourite thing from the month of May are a couple of purchases I made. Now, um, I purchased these from um, a, uh, an Etsy store called Crafty Glass. Um, I have a stained glass uh, Bowie bolt here, which is hanging on a piece of purple ribbon that I put on there myself. Um, I was originally going to get some, like, um, what's that called? Like fishing line um, and hang it so it looked like it was hanging, like, just in the window magically um, but I quite like the purple on it and this hangs in the window and uh, when the sun comes through the window it shines on these lovely uh, red uh, and blue bits and uh, makes a little uh, pattern against the wall which I love that was in the sale that was a tenner I think it's gone it's gone back up again now um, but yeah it just gives me so much joy every time I look at it and then I also bought this little crystal ball tea light holder um, which has got this little crystal ball here and then I've got a tea light here because I've just got this out of the bathroom pop a little tea light there and then it just shows like a little flame it just looks fantastic now this is in my bathroom um on my bath so when i have a bath i light it and the reflection of this goes into the bath water and it just it just makes me so happy i know it's such a small thing i was just thinking about how how happy that made me so uh, there was a whole host of these they had like a, a clear a clear uh, crystal ball pink crystal ball this blue crystal ball and i got this one um, and i've also got a moon a crescent moon which um is in the other room i can't be bothered to no i will go and get it hold on and it's a blue and pink crescent moon now i haven't got a bit of ribbon to hang this i want to hang this in the spare room um and yeah i just feel like it was really nice to support an independent business um and just have some more fun things in the house we're spending a lot more time in the house these days so it's nice to have fun things to look at um, and would definitely recommend we'll link um we'll link the uh the website down below there's a few 
things I want in there bad, like Frida Kahlo stained glass thing. Oh my God, just so much amazing stuff. They even have like, um, she even makes uh, like stained glass uh, gherkins. <laughs> like a stained glass gherkin um so yeah i'll definitely be buying more stuff from there in the future uh, the next thing i wanted to show you is um something that i found out about uh, and i've mentioned this on my instagram through um a, uh, a youtube channel that i've been watching called um sit down and shut up or shut up and sit down i never remember what order it goes in but it's a, a youtube channel where they talk about board games and you'll know that i love a board game really really love a board game um david loves them less so so i do get to play board games quite regularly david will play them quite regularly with me um but if, if i had my way i'd be board gaming it all day every day now recently um sit down and shut up did a video where they talked about the amazing world of print and play games where um you can print and you can print for free um off uh, the internet um games which you can then play by yourself one player games i was like what is this world? This is a world I need to be involved in. So the first one I played um, was a bargain basement bathosphere. This is what it looks like. You get a whole host. Now I'm, I'm halfway through this game, so a lot of them, you, you, you chop them up afterwards, but let me show you one that I've just played. So you get like a whole host, a, a whole page of, of different maps, which you start here and by rolling a series of dice, so I did have to buy myself five dice because I didn't have dice um you have to uh, roll dice and work your way through the um through the map and there's a whole a host of different sort of mini games to play within it collecting divers visiting the ocean floor um discovering new fish and uh octopuses and things like that um and they all relate back to mini games within this game so uh, every time you collect a fish you mark it on your <laughs> <laughs> on your Aquasium page where you're collecting all the fish um, and every time you get a certain amount of points um, you're, you're playing another game whereby you're um, cabling um, an area of the country to, to make everyone uh, match up. I'm, I'm making this sound much more complicated than it is. So I played this twice now. They're both bloody like it's, it's bloody brilliant it's absolutely amazing. I've, I've loved it both times um, and I can just sit and crack on and play that by myself in the quiet while David plays the PlayStation game um, and has a lovely time. Now, I've also um, printed off, let me go and get two seconds. That one I would highly, highly recommend, um, and I will link that down below. What, what I think is best to do is just just search um, Bathosphere or um, Bargain Basement Bathosphere on YouTube, or, or no, Google, um, and you'll be able to find it. But I also um, sent off, because I don't have a colour printer, um, uh, this other game called Super... I've got the rules in, in black and white, but a, a game called Supermarché, um, which I haven't played yet. Um, and I sent off and got all this printed off, and this is part of it. And you run and uh, play... You, you, run, you own and run your own um, supermarket, with different um, things, uh, different uh, customer orders and things like that. Um, and I'm really, really excited to play that. Now, maybe I will set that up this afternoon because um, I haven't played that one yet. But yeah, if you are into board games and well, even if you're, even if you're both into board games, you can play this forever. Um, and uh, yeah, I just think it's a really great thing that you can get free board games. I mean, I had to send off um, to get these printed from a, it was actually cute. I, I sent off to a, um, to a printing company to get them printed in colour and um, uh, when they sent me back the printing, which was beautiful, um, they sent me like a little pack of seeds as well to grow some flowers. So I'm growing flowers on the kitchen windowsill. It's all just coming together beautifully. So print and play one player games. Go and test it out. If you've played any, then let me know down below. Please, please, please do. So some more favourite things. Now, one of my first, uh, one of my mostest favourite things for this month, and I've mentioned this a hell of a lot of times now, is that I completed the Couch to 5K app. So um, you may well have uh, been following me on my journey um, of, um, of, of running from no running to being able to run for 30 minutes. Um, this is an app that I use. Um, I will link the app down below. Um, it's the NHS based app. Um, and um, I've, I, it, it it's a program where it gets you from not being a runner at all and literally I could not run at all um, to being able to run for 30 minutes now this is a fantastic program and it, it does it it does what it says on the tin it got me from not being able to run at all to being able to run for 30 minutes and I completed it in the week which I am so so proud of and when I was when I'd completed it I was like running around like I just bloody completed a marathon and I was thinking about it and I thought well this year that was my marathon like this year I'd set myself the challenge of completing couch to 5k I've done it many times I've attempted it many times over the years like as far back as when I used to live with my friend Neve um we used to we used to try and do it we only we, we only ever got to like week one or two never passed um and um, I think the whole time I, I tried it probably about four or five times and this time uh, with the sort of added oomph of the fact that I'd been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes um, I, um, I I completed it and it felt fantastic and I'm so delighted with myself that I can now run um, for for 30 minutes um, 
I'm just so happy. So I'm going to continue, um, not to follow the program, I've got another idea, I think I'm going to use Runkeeper, which is another app, um, and it tells you how long you've been running for, or how long you've, like, or, or the distance you've been running for. I think I'm maybe going to start doing, like, walk for a K, run for 2K, walk for a K, run for 3K, and build that up that way. Um, because I'm not at my best at, after 30 minutes of running. I'm much better running in like sort of 20 minute stints with like a little three or five minute walk in between. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna build it up that way, but so proud of myself for doing that. So, so proud. Um, and if any of you guys are, and also the fact that I managed to get it finished before the summer because it's get, it gets hot here and I can't run during the heat. So I'm so pleased that I managed to complete it. Um, so that was uh, one of my goals for this year. So next year, the goal is to run an actual 5K event. Um, so I imagine they'll be up, back up and running by then. So yes, well done me. Um, the next thing are two tele uh, television programs that um, uh, David and I have watched and loved in May. The first one is Normal People. Now, Normal People is a book written by Sally Rooney um, that I read a couple of years ago, absolutely loved, and listened to the audiobook of it, I think maybe this year and last year. It's one of my favorite books ever. Really, really love it. Um, and they made it into a 12-part uh, drama series on BBC Three. So you, if you play for a television license, you can watch it on iPlayer. I believe it's on Hulu in the US and other places. Um, and I was always very excited about this. I was nervous about it being made into sort of like 12 parts because it's one of those books, and I've seen it, I, I saw a tweet about this where they were talking about how um, nothing happens but everything happens because it's just about people's lives and it's about two people in particular marianne and connell and their relationship um through their friendship through romantic relationships through all, all sort of through relationships with their parents etc etc um and it was beautiful the tv show was absolutely beautiful marianne and connell are played by um daisy edgar jones and paul mescal paul mescal he might be he's up there with Andrew Scott on the old uh, the league table of uh, people I get heart eyes over um, and they, they just do a fantastic job the whole thing looks beautiful the colour palette's amazing what they're wearing's amazing where it's like every set every every shot is so beautiful some shots actually look like pieces of art there's a bit that after they've been shagging there's also loads of dick and fanny in it like and tits like they haven't for, for a bbc drama they, they're not frightened to to show to show boobs and stuff um and after they've been having it off there's a bit where they're laying on the bed and it actually looks like a piece of renaissance art it's just like amazing um and uh, david didn't want to watch this uh, he was like oh i don't think i'm gonna like it not much happens blah 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 and it, we, i started watching it on a friday where um i i was i'd hit a proper boredom wall a proper boredom wall and i was just like there was just nothing that's gonna get me out of this boredom wall he said i'll watch an episode of uh, normal people so i watched one episode he was hooked and we watched it all in about two or three days um and yeah i just i mean this is booktube i'm sure you've watched it <laughs> but if you haven't watched it then do please give it a go because it was just amazing um, and something else we've watched and loved was a series on netflix called hollywood um which is um set in um i don't actually know what years it's set like the 40s i think um set in hollywood um and um, you're following a whole group of people who are involved in the film industry um trying to get a, uh, a movie uh, made now the guy who's written the movie is a black guy and uh, they don't have that it's like during the time when there's a lot of segregation going on and awfulness um and uh he's written this movie and he wants to they've they decided to change it um so that the the lead actress um will be an actress of color um and yeah it's just again the same way of normal people it looks fantastic the color palettes are amazing the D the 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 home decoration it's just also opulent and gorgeous um the, the um the the fashion's amazing the story telling's amazing i just loved it it's like old school hollywood um with just it's sort of told um th there's a few actual characters um in the film that are actual real life people um and um they have element that they have elements of truth to their story and what would have happened if this happened and what would have happened if that happened and uh yeah and also uh, and i don't know if this is a spoiler um, but it's got a really happy ending which is lovely for um, a TV show that um, quite often um, I, I don't feel like a lot of TV shows have really happy endings and it's all wrapped up beautifully and um, told really and, and a really really happy ending so loved it loved it loved it really really enjoyed that and then there's two more things which are events things that took place it's my sister's birthday at the beginning of May um, and uh, she was a bit upset to obviously have her birthday in lockdown as i'm sure a lot of people have had to do um and one thing we did we got a takeaway from a, a local uh, a local uh, turkish restaurant 
and uh, we ate it on Zoom. Um, so uh, me and David, uh, my sister and her husband, and my mum and dad, all on Zoom. We had like, kept, look, me and David had made like a bit of, like put a bit of effort in. We got dressed up and had some candles and, and just ate and chatted. And it was just such a lovely thing to do. Now, I know this isn't a new or uh, a revolutionary idea. I've seen a lot of people doing it, um, but it was really, really lovely. Um, and uh, I really, really enjoyed doing it. So that was lovely and uh, definitely something that uh, we will do again should the need arise uh, and then the last thing is that David and I have been sort of putting on um, evenings or, or little events for each other um, this started with me um, hosting him a cinema evening he kept saying how much he missed the cinema um, so I made a little sign saying oh you can watch this I did a little snack bar uh, we, we have a, we used to do this thing before Christmas called bed cinema where we set up the um, the sofa so it's like a bed um, and then we watch something on the, the the telly and we've done that twice this year that used to be a, a pre-Christmas treat but uh, we've, we've done it twice because now it's a lockdown treat and then David David did that back for me and he, he did such a cute job because he did like a whole um he made a video with like different trailers and then I got to pick from the trailers which film I wanted to watch um and we had snacks and yeah we put a bit of like mood lighting on in here that was lovely so those were like the first the original nights then David did me like a little spa afternoon which was lovely and he set it all up so it's like a spa and he put some spa music on made it really dark did me a little hair massage a little face massage painted my nails for me um and I just sat and read didn't have my phone on me left my phone in the other room and just sat and, and it was like an actual spa it was so so lovely um and then I did David a pub night um so I set up the uh, so I put some football on the telly I got in some alcohol free beers um i got myself i bought myself like a little um little mini pool table and a little darts board we just had an evening like listening to music and playing darts and playing pool and david was it was like something like a hundred best goals and we watched that and um i did him scampi and chips for dinner and like it's just been really really nice to sort of set up these little events just to just to make things a little bit different because what i am finding um is that all the days are sort of becoming very much the same um and uh, the weekends we, we, we're uh, we, we, we're doing the same things every every weekend so uh, just to change it up a bit we've just been trying to do those little things and i've completely run out of ideas of things now to do um but i think it might be time to uh, to do cinema again soon so so that's just uh, another couple of favorite things that i've enjoyed doing just setting up little evenings uh, with david which has been lovely so those are some of my favorite things from the month of may what are some of your favorite things from the month of may have you had a lovely may and i will see you all again soon for another booktube video goodbye